Okay guys, this is what I came up with. Um, got a few things from Home Depot. Cat is inside of this package right here. This is is uh, insulation, home insulation, and it's got this uh, wrap on it. Uh, what I've got here is three inch um, dryer duct, and in the end of it, I've got my probe, temperature probe, and it comes down right down about there. And right now, I'm running at 38 degrees. That's Celsius. I'm running at 10 amps. Sorry, 8 amps, 15 volts. The HHO I did have going in here, but I'm getting better performance by putting it in right through the bottom. So I'm putting it in through the bottom right here with my HHO torch. And then this comes back here, this 3 inch comes back here to a, your standard uh, um, bathroom exhaust fan. And I, I made some observations here. Um, The core of this is above 500 degrees. I want to show you what happens when I plug this in. So I want to plug this in. It's going to move air through the uh, through the system. I plug it in right here. There you go. Now, so it's pushing air out right here. It's hot air. Now watch the temperature. Fifty degrees C is one hundred and twenty two degrees. Now this is the output air. It's hot. So this is going to hit one hundred degrees and it's probably going to go. There we go. So it reads up to one hundred degree. 10 degrees C. And just watch it here. I've had this thing preheating for probably 30 minutes. It's been running for 30 minutes. So there it goes. Now this is this is what happens. After the heat is drawn off the cat through this kind of a heat exchanger system here, this is what happens. And that'll continue to drop.
Sorry if this is boring, I just want you to watch the uh, temperature here. So 48 degrees C is 118. So what I'm looking for is at any point does it start to maintain temperature? The amount of air that's moving through it. Forty-two degrees. It's about a hundred and seven. Now we're starting to hit the temperature that it was without the uh, air moving through it. Thirty-eight degrees is a hundred. It's a hundred degrees. So let me let me show you what it is in the room here. Seventy-three, sixty-seven, sixty-four on the ceiling. It's seventy, sixty-seven. Cabinets are 56, the floor will be colder, 53, 66 there, 67. so let's just call it 65 degrees. Thirty-five is ninety-five degrees. So thirty-five would be ninety-five degrees. So that's thirty degrees over room temperature if it holds. So this right now. It's 10 amps, 15 volts, we're 150 watts. 150 watts going in. Still dropping. Now I was hoping to heat my shop today.
as you can see it's going to continue to drop. I'll put in the comment section if it uh, started to maintain temperature and I'm also going to raise it to 20 amps I'll write down that temperature I'll raise it to 20 amps and see uh, if we can find a spot where it maintains at 20 amps anyway I've got some other ideas for this um, I'm thinking maybe blowing air right through the actual reaction chamber might not be the best idea uh, I think that hydrogen and oxygen needs to sit there in the honeycomb um, I can't tell for sure if it's all being consumed I don't know that so I'd like to build a chamber that I could put the hydrogen in that doesn't have an output on it so everything would stay in the chamber uh, and then build a heat exchanger around it and see what kind of uh, heat we can get off of it. I think that would be a better way to measure uh, the heat output of this. So we're continuing to drop here a lot slower. But yeah, I'll put the temperature in the uh, description. Thanks for watching, guys.